Hi guys, Honda Willis here, back again for another video on the channel. Now, in this video, I will be doing the new sign-in. But, I just want to let you know that these free sign-ins are all being recorded at the same time. So, obviously, you've booked three medicals at the same time. So, I have no idea which sign will be announced first. So, I'm not going to say this is a four, fifth, sixth sign-in, for example. I don't know which will come first. They're all booked uh, at the time of recording. So, it's just where those ones will be announced. So, in this video, anyway, we'll be discussing Carl Rushworth. He's joining Swan City then on loan from Brighton Hove Albion for the rest of the season as competition for Andy Fisher and Stephen Bender when he is fully fit. Carl Rushworth, then 22 years old, has just been over in America with Brighton for their pre-season against some Premier League opposition. He's been at Brighton since 2018, judged from non-league side Halifax Town. He has played for Walsall and Lincoln City over the last two seasons on loan. At Lincoln City, he really impressed, getting 20 clean sheets in 46 appearances in all competitions for Lincoln. So nearly a clean sheet every other game, which is just a remarkable for such a young goalkeeper. In November 2019, he received his first England under 19 call up in October 2021. He received a call for the under 21s before making his debut last month in June 2023. He was also in the England squad last month for when England won the under 21s Euros last month. So he's part of you know history for England with some fantastic players in there. You know, his other goalkeeper, uh, compared of James Trafford, just had a Premier League move as well. So yeah, Carl Rushworth has been surrounded by a lot of goalkeeper talent over the last couple of years, and you know, I think that will really improve him as a goalkeeper as well like I said 46 abuses for Lincoln last season in all competitions 20 clean sheets remarkable achievement for such a young goalkeeper like I said still only 22 and his best days are ahead of him so yeah really looking forward to this signing of course we needed a bit of competition for Andy Fisher obviously Andy Fisher's preseason has been decent to be fair but obviously that mistake against Oxford United's really you know brought up memories of last season where you know we still need another goalkeeper for competition as Andy Fisher has that mistake in him and if you want to be a good competitive team in this league you've got to have a goalkeeper who very very rarely makes a mistake and unfortunately I don't think Fisher is that man because he makes mistakes too often still plays the ball around with his feet and I just don't think that's the style Michael Duff wants to play now if Carl Rushriff does come in um, obviously which he has now you know will he make his debut on the weekend will be interesting of course we'll only have a few days to work with um, the goalkeeping coach and Michael Duff and obviously the defenders as well as that's the main part of Carl Rushworth's job is to organise the defence from the back. But yeah, for such a young goalkeeper, he's got really, really good commanding leadership skills as well. Like I said, he's played in non-league before, so you know he knows how the championship works essentially with you know being a local lad in terms of being from England anyway. Uh, knows the EFL, like I said, played with two EFL clubs, Warsaw and Lincoln City respectively, also Halifax Town in non-league. Obviously at Brighton, um, they play a nice free throw football. So if this side was under you know Russell Martin, you'd expect him to be a ball playing goalkeeper. But I don't think he'll be a goal ball playing goalkeeper. I think he'll just be you know a normal average goalkeeper where you know his main job is to save um, shots and save come up across and stuff like that. And obviously if he can play from back he will uh, as we've seen in some preseason games you know Michael Duff likes to uh, differentiate the style of play you know at times we can play the passing ball but at times you know we can go along which is why I really like Michael Duff but yeah glad this uh, signing has been you know approved and stuff like that could have happened a few weeks ago but of course um, similar with the Harrison Ashby situation where you know Brighton and Newcastle wanted to take their loan uh, the young players out abroad to the USA and see what they you know are capable of for the potential in the future because at the end of the day it's still their player and they have every single right to do that so yeah I'm just glad he's come in before the season starts you know it's going to be a very very good signing hopefully like I said you know he's still a young goalkeeper but has got that EFL experience just shows that you know he's not going to be nervous but it's a step up from you know those sorts of clubs no disrespect to also Halifax Town or Lincoln City in that aspect but you know it's a bigger chance from never play that the second tier before so again this transfer could go wrong um, but overall like I said he's got a lot of promise about him you know like I said was part of the England under 21 Euro squad last month from you know some of the talent in that squad Morgan Gibbs White uh, Cole Palmer Anthony Gore and James Trafford, uh, the list goes on. Callum Doyle, you know, incredible. Levi Cowell, incredible amount of talent in that squad. So, yeah, Carl Rushworth, hopefully, he's going to be another one of those players in terms of upcoming. I know for Brighton, you know, they've got another great player on their hands. If he's a great season at Swansea, luck, 20 clean sheets last season. If you can get anywhere near that at championship level, you know, Brighton will have a, a very big transfer fee on their hands as well, especially with the Robert Sanchez situation uh, still going on and Jason Steele getting a bit older. I know they've signed a, uh, a young goalkeeper, 20 years old, but again, Carl Rushworth, English goalkeeper. But English tax, so you know the price always increases there. So let me know if there's any uh, Lincoln City fans or 
Walsall fans, you know, I'd like to see your opinions and hear your opinions on Carl Rush with what you, what you thought of his time at your club. And Brighton fans, what can we expect? Obviously, you guys wouldn't have watched much of Carl Rush with, but if you guys have, you know, seen how he's been going out on loan and maybe the youth level at Brighton, it would be pushing. Of course, Halfax Town, what can we expect? Of course, he started his career at you, so we can't forget you guys. But yeah, 22 years old, like I said, got EFL experience, 20 clean sheets last season at League One level for uh, Lincoln, who, you know, didn't finish in the top six, which is uh, a very, very good record for a young goalkeeper. Did receive a red card as well last season, so uh, we'll have to keep an eye out on that one. But yeah, I fully expect Carl Swift to be our number one over the next couple of weeks. I, I wouldn't surprise me to see Andy Fisher start the season, but overall, um, I, I, I would probably expect Carl Swift to be our number one until about January time when Stephen Bender is back from injury, and then we'll have a bit of a situation on the hands where you know either Bender or Fisher will probably have to leave as we don't need three first choice goalkeepers as it's just wasting away. So yeah, welcome to Sunday City, Carl Rush with really excited about this sign in and yeah we'll be interested to see if he'll be the number one so thanks for watching guys please give a like comment subscribe like i said welcome to sun city carl rush with hopefully it's gonna be a good sign in and yeah first of many